Good morning, this is the National Weather Service in northern Indiana. It's approximately 5.30 a.m. Tuesday morning, December 20th. We want to take the next few minutes here to bring you up to date on the potential of a major winter storm to impact our area Thursday into Saturday. Now it looks like a strong Arctic cold front will be moving through our area Thursday night into Friday morning. That will change any rain there on Thursday to snow quickly and any wet roadways may freeze quickly in a flash freeze there Thursday night into Friday. And then Friday will be the most hazardous day of this event with very windy conditions and we'll talk about the potential of blowing and drifting snow and, and the possibility of blizzard or near blizzard conditions and dangerous wind chills into Saturday. The map on the right just shows you a winter storm watch has been issued for all of northern Indiana, southern lower Michigan, and northwest Ohio. And this covers the period from Thursday evening into early Saturday morning. The heaviest snow accumulations are expected from late Thursday night through Friday evening. And as we mentioned, with this storm strengthening overhead, we're going to get very strong winds with some gusts to 50 to 55 miles per hour on Friday. So you can imagine with the snow falling and these type of wind gusts, that's what's going to create these blizzard or near blizzard conditions. Now the map on the right just gives you a general idea of snowfall expected with this event. We'll be refining the snowfall forecast here over the next day as, the, as we get closer to the event. But this just gives you an idea as to the probability of 48 hour snowfall that will be 6 inches or greater for that period from 7 a.m. Thursday to 7 a.m. Saturday. And you can see from this map here there's a 90 percent chance or greater of exceeding 6 inches of snow there across northwest Indiana into southwest lower Michigan. Those percentages tail off as we head into far northeast Indiana and northwest Ohio. That's where confidence is a little bit lower in the total snow amounts. We may get a little bit less snow in those areas as due to that changeover from rain to snow is a little slower in that area and also further away from the Lake Michigan enhancement. But even if we do get the lower amounts in the far east there, keep in mind that even with lower snow amounts, if that does materialize, the combination of the falling snow and these strong winds of 50 to 55 miles per hour is going to create very dangerous conditions across our entire forecast area. Travel may become very difficult, if not impossible, across some areas, with the confidence in the greatest impacts there across the areas highlighted in the northwest Indiana and southwest lower Michigan. What could make this storm particularly dangerous is just the multiple hazards associated with it. We talked about the snow and blowing snow and the, the possibility of high impacts to travel and disruption to travel and also the flash freeze aspect, but also the wind chills are going to be a component of this storm which we're going to have to watch. It looks like fairly high confidence that the period Friday into Saturday we're going to have wind chills dropping into the 15 to 30 below range uh, for that period. And those cold wind chills will persist through the weekend. This final slide we just want to summarize all of the hazards that are going to be in play with this storm potentially into a graphical timeline representation. You can see we talked about that light wintering mix quickly changing over to um, snow as we get into Thursday night. Again our worst conditions that we're most concerned about there late Thursday night through Saturday morning. That's when we're going to have those strongest wind gusts of 50 to 55 miles per hour and the potential blizzard or near blizzard conditions. One thing I want to point out too though is even though the snow will be tapering off uh, later on Saturday as it transitions to a lake effect type event, even though the snow will be diminishing for some, these winds are going to be slow to subside as this storm is a very large scale storm and it'll take some time for those winds to come down. So even through the late afternoon Saturday into Saturday night, probably going to have roads still in bad shape with significant blowing and drifting persisting. And also we want to point out, obviously when we talk about wind gusts to this magnitude and the falling snow, there's always that potential of scattered power outages. And repeating, it's approximately 5.30 a.m. Tuesday, December 20th. Thank you for having joined us for this briefing. Just keep in mind that forecast information can change at a later time, so you want to stay updated on this storm. And this, again, has a potential to be a very, very dangerous storm for our area. So please stay safe, and as always, we would appreciate your winter weather reports for this event. Thank you.